This is Interlaken. Today is the 16th of February 2017. This is the ice track for the winter holidays and in front of me is Hotel Victoria which still maintains something of the splendour of the 19th century, the grand tour of Europe when Interlaken was discovered so to speak by the, I think possibly by the painters of the age who then made it popular with the arist aristocracy and they came to places such as this hotel which is in front of me which is an absolutely magnificent foyer and I bet the rooms are just as good next to it is the Hotel Metropole which certainly does not fit in with the surroundings Interlaken is so named because it's between two lakes a lot of comparatively recent name it had another name before that you can see February there's no snow there it's a sudden slope but as I turn round to the south and the north facing slopes you can see there is plenty of snow up there and perhaps in front of a container is not the best place to be filming from Interlaken is served by two railway stations, the eastern railway station which is down there, straight ahead, and the western one which is behind me, also straight ahead. The most singularly outstanding thing you can do here or in Switzerland I don't know maybe it's true to say in Europe I haven't been all over the world so I don't know but yesterday we went up here the Schiltorn Pete's Gloria as in on Her Majesty's Secret Service utterly outstanding I am absolutely amazed at what we saw and what we could do there's also a thing of a thrill walk, which is a, a sort of a path cut into the rock in places and other places just, it's a walkway, 200 meters or so, above the level of the ground. Absolutely amazing. So that is something that, it, just for that alone, it's worth coming here. But you can see that in another film, not in this one. And this is, I think, fair to say, the main street in Interlaken, which is pedestrian only. Although I think the buses, yes, the buses certainly do come through because there's bus stops down there. I don't eat out very much, or it's very rare that I eat out. I've got to say, it's a little disappointing the amount of Swiss places we eat at. There's very few, nearly everything, so Indian restaurants, Turkish or Chinese, this type of thing. And I think if one's in Switzerland, one wants to eat Swiss. Well, obviously not. And maybe I do, and nobody else does.
although a winter destination in many ways, because of the mountains, it's in the summer when Interlaken really comes to life. That's one of the few Swiss looking places to eat that I've seen in my time in Switzerland. There we can see one of the sluices on the river Ah, which control the, uh, this river, uh, which links the two lakes together, the Brienz. So on the eastern side it's Interlaken, and the western side is Unterzehn. And I'm staying in Unterzehn, my campsite's at Unterzehn, but it's at the western end of Unterzehn. This is the Grosser Ah, larger part of the Ah River, which is so split in two, and this is an island on it that we have here, and the oldest part of the town, I suspect. Restaurant Steinbock, Steinbox and Ibis in English. I mentioned earlier about the lack of Swiss restaurants around. Well, this one here is clearly a Swiss restaurant and you can see there what it's offering. Vegetable plate, salads, cheese fondue, cordon bleu, breaded cutlet, entrecote, steak tatar, sliced veal, hash brown, doesn't sound very Swiss, maybe it is, I don't know. Pork sausage and lamb filet. Standing in the road and cars around me.
Interlaken West Railway Station is there. See a train just coming into it now. And I've just been here to the co-op to do some shopping. Which means that effectively I'm gonna stop filming now. But from here, this is more or less where the town ends. I've got one bus an hour and if I'm going to have to wait any time at all, I'm going to be walking until the bus comes. My bus doesn't come from there, but from the next stop. But I don't know when it will be, but I'll find out. Now on the way back, there's a couple of places with some farm stuff, so I might be stopping there the bus doesn't come first. For example, to buy some eggs. There's 42 minutes until the next bus. So I'm walking. It'll do me good. I'm build up an appetite for the Swiss cheese and Swiss milk that I've got to have later, as well as these clementines, it's probably come from Italy or Spain.